Welcome back, Interior Alaska. Mike Fussell here with your latest local sports action. Athletes took part in some very big events this weekend, as many near the end of their seasons. But, of course, it's that time of the year again. Governor's Cup hockey kicked off last night in Anchorage. The Nanooks went into battle off of a seven-game losing streak. They hope to end that and deal UAA a souring Gov Cup loss. Neither team looked ready to top the other during the first period of play, though. Alaska was afforded several special teams opportunities as Seawolf penalties dotted the first frame. The Nooks just couldn't convert and held out until the second to get on the board. Marcus Bissaro would do that as the clock hit 325, putting UAF up by a point. But just five minutes later, UAA would find the back of the net on a penalty shot, tying the game at one. That brought everything down to the last period. Alec Dukovic would serve the Nooks a dose of relief, though, at the 522 mark, chipping a goal past the Seawolves defense. That put Alaska up and allowed them to stay on top through the final whistle. The Nanooks ground out a close Gov Cup win, 2-1, to one, and step ahead to lead the series after Friday night's game. And the Nenex men's basketball team took on Northwest Indian last night, leveraging their home court advantage at the Patty Center. The game would end up being a blowout. Alaska got an early lead and kept it all the way throughout the game. At the half, UAF was up by 21 points and their momentum would only grow. The Alaska Hoopers finished with a final score that was 50 points higher than their competitors. The Nooks got on to, into triple digits after all frames closed out at 113 to 63. The tremendous team effort never gave the Eagles a chance as every player who put on a UAF jersey contributed to the score award. Bengali Kaba, though, did the most for the Nanooks, scoring 20 points in just 16 minutes of play. Alaska had five other shooters reach double-digit point numbers on the night. The Nanooks also proved they had a competitive bench as players coming into the game scored a season high of 48 points altogether. After the Friday night win, Alaska is now 7-2. Northwest Indian drops to 0-14. And the Alaska Lady Nanooks basketball team was also in Anchorage playing against UAA this weekend. The Seawolves took advantage of early momentum, gaining a 17-19 scoreboard snapshot at the end of the first period. The Nanooks tried to catch up in the second, but ended up even farther behind with a score of 34-15 at the half. Something must have changed, though, during the break as the Nanooks came out hot in Q3. UAF ended up outscoring UAA in that frame by six points, but was not enough to put an end to the early tide of Seawolf momentum. Alaska loses it 78-56. Jaylee Mays walks away with the game high for the Nanooks at 21 points. Jordan Wilson would be the next closest with 13. And North Pole High School was the last stop of the season for many interior wrestlers today, but a select few will be continuing grappling towards the state tournament. The top three finishers in each weight class at the Mid-Alaska Conference Championships will be put to the test next weekend at Chugiak High School, but today it was all about surviving and securing a spot. Athletes from Lathrop, West Valley, and North Pole were the ones on the map pushing themselves to do that. Lathrop held a steady team lead going into finals. And in the small schools, for the small school wrestlers, Cahill Turner took first for Hutch. This, of course, was not at North Pole. It was at the Denali Conference Tournament. Three other Hawks grabbed second place, finishes there as well. We'll have full results for wrestling during the weekend recap with Joe Cook on Monday. And high school hockey players are back on the ice for another weekend, taking on opponents across the state. Here's what that action looked like last night. East and Lathrop found themselves neck and neck in a big school battle. That would come down to just one goal. The final score on the road at Big Lake would be 4-3, to three, with East getting the upper hand. Monroe Catholic continued their march of dominance. They took on Juno, edging forward with a 6-4 to four win. Two players grabbed hat tricks in that game, and the Rams continued their undefeated streak. Monroe is now at 8-0 on the season. Delta and Hutch also met up for an interior matchup. It would be... A high goal game with 12 total shots finding the back of the net. Delta grabs a majority of the tally with seven points, leaving the Hawks with just five. Hutch couldn't keep up and draws the loss. All right, and that about brings us to the buzzer for sports tonight. Katie Looper has your full weather forecast coming up next. Thanks for checking in, and we'll see you next weekend.